Hi everyone, this is a medium difficulty GMAT DS question. I will classify this question as a GMAT 650 to 700 level DS question in number properties and inequalities, right. Is x cube greater than x square the question? Two statements follow the question. We will look at the statements in a while. These are the five answer options. Let us spend some time with the question stem, right. Let us try and reframe this question so that it becomes so much easier for us to evaluate it when we look at the statements. Is x cube greater than x square? What I am going to do is I am going to take this x square to the left hand side that will make it as is x cube minus x square greater than 0. x square is a term common to both these parts. So, let us take x square as a term common outside which will translate to is x square into x minus 1 greater than 0 is what the question is. x square is one number, x minus 1 is the second number. The product of these two numbers is positive product of two numbers is positive when both numbers are positive or both numbers are negative. So, it could be that x square is positive and x minus 1 is positive or x square is negative and x minus 1 is negative. Square of a real number can never be negative. So, x square cannot be negative which means this as a possibility is ruled out. So, what we have is this question is is x square greater than 0 and x minus 1 also greater than 0 is what it basically boils down to. If this entire product is greater than 0 they are asking with this never having a possibility of being negative they are essentially asking us is x square and x minus 1 are they both simultaneously positive ok. This part is easy let us rewrite it this is is x greater than 1 is what it basically translating to this part is done. There is an and we will keep it here this is is x square greater than 0 square of a real number is it greater than 0 is what they are asking. When will the square of a real number be greater than 0? Can it be for negative values of x? Yes. If x is a minus 2, square of x will be positive. If x is a plus 2, square of x will be positive. When will it not be positive? It will be not be positive when it is equal to 0. So, for values of x other than 0, x less than 0, x square is going to be positive x greater than 0, x square is going to be positive. When x is equal to 0, that is a only case where it is not going to happen. So, this essentially the solution to this would essentially be is x less than 0 union or or you can write it whichever way you want or x is greater than 0. Both these possibilities is what x square is greater than 0 translates to and x greater than 1 is what this question is. So, essentially you have this as an or and this as an and. If we combine these two, this will translate to is x less than 0 and x greater than 1 picking this two parts or is x greater than 0 and x greater than 1. This is what the question is. Look at the number line for this part we have a 0, we have a 1. The question in this part is is x less than 0 and greater than 1. Can a number simultaneously be a number which is greater than 1 and also a negative number? That is not possible. So, this is ruled out. So, this question is x cube greater than x square basically boils down to is x greater than 0 and x greater than 1 is what we have. We will again make it a little simpler. Look at the number line again. x should be greater than 0 and x should be greater than 1. When will x be greater than 0 and greater than 1? Both these conditions will coexist when a number is greater than 1. Usually draw the number line, draw horizontal lines for each of these ranges that is being asked and then check out where all the horizontal lines coexist, right. If the number is 1.1, 1 .1, it will be greater than 1 and greater than 0. On the converse, if the number is a 0.8, it will be greater than 0 but not greater than 1. They are asking is a number greater than 0 and greater than 1. Any number greater than 1 will be greater than 0 also. So, this question basically is, is x greater than 1? So, is x cube greater than x square is a question, can be rephrased, can be brought it down to this simpler version is x greater than 1. Now that we have rephrased the question, we know what kind of a question it is. It is an is question, is x greater than 1 our actual question. The answer to this question is going to be an yes or a no. When will it be an x? That is when x is greater than 1. When is it a no? Obviously, when x is less than 1, also when x is equal to 1. So, no happens in two scenarios, x less than 1, x equal to 1. S yes happens in one scenario when x is greater than 1. The question is in this question, the answer is yes or no. We know when it is an yes, when it is a no. The data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no. So, we are going to carry this as our question as we are going to evaluate the statements. Then life becomes very simple. Statement 1 is x is greater than 0. The question is, is x greater than 1 is what our question is. 
x is greater than 0 is what it says. So, x could be, I am looking at a counter example, x could be equal to 0 0.7, it is greater than 0, is it greater than 1? The answer is no. Counter example is x is equal to a 1.1, .1. is it greater than 0 as mentioned in statement 1? Yes. Is it greater than 1? The answer is yes. So, if a number is greater than 0, is it greater than 1? It could be, if it is a number greater than 1 also. But there are numbers which are greater than 0, which are not greater than 1 and therefore, you could get a no also as an answer. Getting a no, getting an S, a counter example exists, which means statement 1 is not sufficient. Let us rule out answer options A and D. What is statement 2? What is statement 2 tell us? X is less than 1. The question is, is X greater than 1? If it says X is less than 1, then we can conclusively state that X is not greater than 1. We can give a definite no as the answer. If you're giving a definite no as the answer, then that statement is sufficient. Statement 2 alone is sufficient, 1 was not sufficient. So, answer option B is the correct answer to this question.